Hello, <laughs> good morning, welcome to A Scribble Brigade. I see so many cuties in the chat, so many familiar names and some new ones as well. Um, welcome, Scribble Brigade is my favourite time of, of the week, times three, three weeks of each month. Um, uh, yeah, I always forget to actually explain what Scribble Brigade is at the top of my videos, at the top of my streams, but I'm sure you all know, but essentially, Scribble Brigade is a place for us all to get together, hang out, um, like a little cute art friendship group, and play and scribble and try some new techniques and draw some themes and subjects that we don't wouldn't usually think of otherwise um and yeah just hang out and be loose and i want us all to just have fun and be light-hearted about it and um yeah that's it that's what scribble brigade is <laughs> and um yeah sorry for the week delay for this one um the public live streams are usually the second wednesday of every month but last wednesday I was a little sickling, so I decided to postpone. Um, but here we are today, and extra lucky, if you're a patron, our regularly scheduled evening Scribble Brigade is going ahead, so two in one day for you. Very exciting. Um, now, I have set up a new music situation where I'm feeding it through uh, rather than feeding it through the speakers of my computer, which is then being picked up by the microphone, it's going straight through um, YouTube stream um, with a lot of help from our lovely friend Melissa. Thanks for helping me work that out. Um, but yeah, let me know if the music's too loud or too soft at any point. I can't actually hear the music anymore, um, which is good because less brain energy. <laughs> For me because I was struggling in the past drawing talking and hearing the music at the same time so it's kind of nice that I can um, just sit in silence in my little studio cocoon like a little goblin <laughs> um, oh lots of cute hellos and catch-ups and stuff like that um, Peachy's here Drawny I'll go through and say hello Tyler hi Tyler Kaylee Melissa, Caspara, um, Paola, Karen, Karen's first time live. Who else here is um, a first timer being live? Come, come say hi. Um, and of course, you don't have to participate in the chat if you don't want to. I'm happy um, for you to be lurking in the background. I know I'm usually a bit of a lurker. <laughs> Yay, lots of cute names here. Sherilyn. Julie, Jessica, um, Sophia, Cookie, Barbie, Mackenzie, Lias, um, Pastel Witch, Cat, Moody and the Artist, uh, Solias, Angelina, Jose, Jose, welcome, welcome, first timers. Um, Drawny, you're gonna be mostly gonna crochet and lurk in my wool cave. <laughs> Sounds lovely. The music may be a little overpowering. We do hear you enough though. I can turn it down a wee bit. Let me turn it down a fraction. How is that? Is that a bit better? Less overpowering maybe. Um, well, so today's theme you may, may have seen in the description is um, vintage retro postage stamps. We did this last week with the, uh, sorry, two weeks ago with the patrons and it was really fun and loose and we have a three minute time limit on each one 
So it is working quite fast, which I, I love. You know I love working fast. If I could just have a day of 30 second life drawings, I would be such a happy little boy. Um, it's my favorite, the, the faster the better. And I think it's really good because it helps you properly loosen up and be less precious with your artwork and like less strict and perfectionist. I don't know, it's just fun. And that's why we started drawing as kids because it's fun and like an escape and silly and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so I have tons of references for us. Tons and tons and tons. And I focused on choosing stamps with um, like animals, uh, butterflies, flowers, um, mushrooms and stuff like that. So it's nice and organic. It doesn't matter if it's out of proportion or whatever. Who cares? <laughs> Yay! Um, great. I'm glad you're all on board. I reckon we should just dive into it. Let's try and get as many done as we can. I'm going to jump over to my workspace, whatever it's called, I don't know, screen, boop. Um, welcome to my desk. I have all my Neo colors. That's what I'm using today. I put them into a vague color order, um, but we'll see how long that lasts for. <laughs> Probably not that long. Um, so what I'm going to do first is write the date. So it's the 17th. I like to write down like the date and when things were and stuff. This is my Scribble Brigade sketchbook, which I um, have a couple of comics in the front of, which I made years ago. So this is my Scribble Brigade sketchbook, which we do all our Scribble Brigades in, which is so satisfying. I have a bunch of these uh, sheets in between. These are actually my print. Like when you order a print from you, me, you get this as a thing and I just use them for my protective. With the Neo colors, because they transfer through, you can see a little bit. Um, but yeah, there we go. So this was last week's session. As you can see, just like a bunch, bunch of scribbly colors, nothing too, you know, nothing too fancy. So I'm gonna do that again today. Um, uh, retro stamps. Now what I'm going to do is before we get started on actually timing and drawing and blah blah blah, I'm going to just um, make some little frames so I have space to draw within. Otherwise, who knows what would happen. I might explode if I don't have a frame. So I'm just going to do a bunch of those real quick. Um, I'm doing them fairly large. I guess the this is A4 size piece of paper more or less, so um, they're A6 size for me. But you can do them tiny, you can do them full page size, but remember we've only got three minutes. So I guess the smaller they are, the more detail you can put in. Um, if you do really large, they're going to be super scribbly, which is going to be fun. I'm going to just do another page just in case. Um, and then I can always add more frames if we do more drawings, which we probably will. And they're so wonky and that's okay. <laughs> um, what is everyone saying in the chat? Loving the greens and the warm tones in your video feed today, Sophie. Beautiful plants. Yes. Well, this plant is usually in my bedroom, but um, my partner has a lot of allergies and his homeopath was like, get all the plants out so now all the plants are in here um, that are usually in my bedroom and the green yeah the green I, this is a big canvas I started prepping like a couple of years ago and I haven't touched it yet but I kind of like it just hanging out in the background like that <laughs> uh, yeah Johnny they're so fun I love the pins and brooches you're always wearing on your t-shirts this is a vintage I'm gonna say vintage, um, but it's a retro pin of mine from back in the day. It's like a little flower girl, big curvy legs, little pubes. <laughs> well, there's our first reference. Um, and I'm ready to go. Are you guys ready to go? I think I'm ready to go. 
I reckon to do a cheat sheet so I can better remember the a the number size. Yeah, because in the states you guys have you don't have a fours, a fives, blah blah blah, or centimeters. <laughs> lots of lots of cute chat stuff going on. Okay, I think we should just begin. We're already ten minutes in, and I've been blethering this whole time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So this is our first one, and we're gonna have three minutes on the on the clock. There's gonna be a timer that appears on the screen for you, um, and I'll try and remember to count it down as we go to give you a little like, um, you know, one minute left. Blah blah blah. Yay! Okay, let's do it. The first one here is um, our title image, which I think is so... Look at that colour palette. I love that colour palette. It's so cute! <laughs> Hi, Ginger. Hi, Danny. Alright, let's go. Three minutes. Grab your... Grab your supplies. Let's go. Start. And yeah, remember, we're just having a loose time. This is the first drawing, and often first drawings are <laughs> not our favourite. This is a good negative space practice as well, with the white flowers and stuff. Fun. Two and a half minutes. I'm not really gonna write down the the city and the price on my ones, but if you want to, it does look really good when you do. Some people the other week did it and it looked great. <laughs> Scribbling in my computer is like, ah. um, one minute fifty five. The full body scribble. Love this purple. <clears throat> um, what? materials are you all using we asked uh, uh, Melissa asked early on in this in the chat but um, there's been a few new people come in now what what materials are you using today I love hearing about what everyone's been using one minute 17 52 seconds. I'm going to draw some more purple. Where's my purple? Fifteen seconds. Oh, it feels funny me not listening to music while I'm drawing. I feel like I'm just sitting in silence, <laughs> which I am. Got some darker bits out here. We're done. We are done. That was our first one. How'd you go? I think we're just gonna keep going, going straight into the next one. There we go. Beautiful. A cardinal. We don't have these in Australia and I think they're so beautiful. I'd love to see one in real life one day. Alrighty. Shall we? Let's go. Number two. This is a nice composition. They're so cute. They look so judgmental all the time and I love it. <laughs> look at his face. That is... That is stink eye if I ever did see one. <laughs> Judging. 
All birds are like that, aren't they, though? <laughs> Judging our choices. You see them all the time and you love them? We have a couple cardinals in the neighborhood lately. Oh, they're, they're like, they don't look real. They're so pretty. Have you seen those memes go around that's like, once you hit 30, you become, you become a bird lady, a bird watching lady. <laughs> And it's so true. <laughs> Just give me the birds. Let me look at the birdies. <laughs> okay, we've got one minute forty five. We've got some gorgeous birds in Australia, though. Um, getting in all of those flowers. Layering the colours. Fifty-five seconds. He's so grumpy, isn't he? He's like, ugh. I have to par sit here and pose while you draw me. The grump. I need to do his little grumpy mouth. There we go. <laughs> cute. So cute though. So cute, so grumpy. Thirty seconds. Just draw more yellow. That's what I'll do. It's like yellowy green. It's pretty. More green, maybe. One second. There we go. Done. Woohoo! Cardinals are supposed to be reminders of those who are no longer with us when we see them. Oh, I've heard that. I've heard that. They're beautiful. Um, let's go to an Australian bird now. This is one of my favorites. This is a blue fairy wren. Um, I love fairy wren. I have a tattoo of a fairy wren on my leg. They're gorgeous. Okay, let's go. Three minutes and we're off. They're like the size of golf balls. <laughs> They're tiny. Tiny. And they're really um, inquisitive as well. Birds are amazing. I've had a couple of pet um, budgerigars over the years. I actually found one once on, um, on the road when I used to live near the city in Melbourne. I was just walking around um, on the road and I squatted down and I said hello and it came up to me and jumped on my hand and then crawled its way up to my shoulder and I was like this bird is clearly trained um, so I went door knocking to try and find its owner um, and this man was like oh yeah I set that one free we don't need it anymore it had its wings clipped, which is so cruel. It was going to die if I didn't find it. Anyway, I ended up going to the pet shop around the corner with it sitting on my shoulder. Um, and I bought a little cage and some um, food and stuff and called it Henry. And Henry lived with me for several years and was the best bird ever she was so sweet and so smart um, and she came to uni with me sometimes or like if I was just going down to the cafe down the road she'd sit on my shoulder and 
hang out with me at the cafe. Like I was that person. I was that kind of bird person. And I loved it so much. Love budgies. Anyway, one minute 13 to go. Little Henry, little hen. Little sweetie. That would have been like 10 years ago now. It was before I started um, with the dogs. <laughs> and then when I was a kid, I had two two budgies as well that um, a lady at the vet dropped off because she didn't want anymore. Um, and we took them home and their names were Bird and Birdie Bird. <laughs> 35 seconds. And um, they were like they lived for freaking ever um we had them for probably eight years i reckon and they were already old ish when we got them and um one of them passed away and the other one died of a little broken heart a couple of days later little babies 10 seconds I love love me some birdies. There we go. Time's up. Cute, how are we all going? <laughs> Lula Bell, hello. We're we're three in. So join. Paula, I'm using Crayolas and a blue ink pen, but maybe I'll change it to black. Sounds good. Um, let's do this one. Now, I love this one. Look at that. It's so beautiful. It looks so retro and so modern at the same time. 1989. That's the year I was born. <laughs> My family had a budgie that recently died and she was 19. She survived out six other budgies. Wow. Wow. That's impressive. <laughs> Let's draw this one. Three minutes. I think when budgies are happy, they just hang on. <clears throat> How even are frogs? I don't even understand them sometimes. love this I love this painting I wonder who the artist is I want to find out see what else they did because I love this style does it say Louis Je Jaeger that's probably it I imagine two minutes ten I love how the little feet go from green to brown. Very cute. This is a good um, negative space piece as well. A little green texture in here. Um, one minute thirty-five. Such a gorgeous shade of green, isn't it? I don't think I can match it with my neo colors. It's one of those greens that you need like all the greens and layer them all to get the right kind of green. One minute and eight seconds. Forty-one seconds. <laughs> what am I doing? Come on, Sophie. Going too slow. 
Get loose. We are loosening up. We're being scribbly. We can always come back later. I can actually um, put the link to my Pinterest somewhere for us to have a look if you want to go back and draw more or you can just rewind the video later when it goes live um, for rewatch. Good at words while I draw. Okay, done. We shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Yeah, three minutes isn't long, but we're only four in. We're going to get faster and faster. We have to keep reminding ourselves to be, to be scribbly. Like, look how scribbly that ended up being. Super scribbly. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as the reference. Okay, what should I make us draw next? <laughs> what about some cute strawberries? Look at that beautiful type. I love that font. Yes, I'll have to rewatch because my little hands aren't fast enough. <laughs> that was fun to realize I'd never drawn a frog before and my brain broke. I know, frogs are definitely brain breakage situation. Okay, three minutes, let's go. <laughs> Cute strawberries. I mean, you can't get much happier subject matter than strawbs in your sketchbook. The little light colored one up there and the flower pretty these like orange leaves down here that's gorgeous peachy orange we're being speedy we're having fun we don't care if it doesn't look like the thing <clears throat> we have two minutes to go. So cute to remember to put my crayons back in the right area. I'm not sure if I'm going to manage the black background in time. We have one minute thirty. Well, I can still do some negative space with the leaves. You know, I love negative space. It's fun. Creates fun shapes. I think the music could be louder. Let me put the music up a little bit. There we go. Because while while we're drawing, while I'm drawing, we're not talking much. Let me know if that's okay. Um, 43 seconds. I'm gonna attempt the black maybe. Let's see how we go. Goodbye, hand muscles. Nice, good. I'll turn the music back down again when I'm ready to chat and when we have a break. <laughs> 12 seconds, I'm not gonna get the black done. It's okay. You can always come back or leave it unfinished. There we go. I didn't finish my outline. My back. My black background. That's okay. Alright, let's do three more and then we can have a quick rest. How about this one? Good colours, huh? Whee! Zingy to the eyeballs. Ready? Have a quick shake. 
stretch, crack the back. Go! <laughs> what are these flowers? These are too pretty to exist. Every time I say re you say ready, I say no. <laughs> I'm like that sports teacher making you do the beep test. <laughs> you like it or not, you have to go. Now that was a thing of um, evil, pure evil, the beep test. <laughs> They probably had something similar like outside of Australia, but yeah, it's just like an endurance test, right? Is that what it basically was? It was awful in every way possible. The beep test, it would like do a big loud beep and you'd have to run from one side of the line to the other side of the line and then it would beep again and you do it back and forth and back and forth and it got faster and faster and faster and faster and everyone in the class had to do it and then it was like a an endurance test that they sort of tested you um, and yeah yuck bad the pacer test mm. Us Australians were so much more like basic. The beep test. It goes beep, so it's the beep test. <laughs> um, one minute and eleven seconds. Pure torture. It's so bad. And like you know, the sporty kids loved it, obviously, because they could do it. But the kids who weren't sporty i.e. us art kids <laughs> oh yuck torment i mean art kids can be sporty too but um yeah you know what i mean yeah they have it in england i bet i bet i think it's like a universal thing isn't it Um, 27 seconds. Again, I'm not really going to be able to get my background done. I made my squares too big. I kind of like the way it looked um, with unfinished scribbly backgrounds. Ten seconds. It was awful. I gave the bullies lots of material to work with on a slow runners. Yes, exactly. That was the worst part about it. The teasing. Like, you know, the first person to get out was the biggest loser kind of thing. Anyway, I don't think we had that. We had track and field, but that sounds different. Yeah, different. It was like we had to do it once a couple of times a year or something, once a semester. Let's go for this birdie. I love this one. This looks like a like a layered block print, um, lino print kind of situation. But I love the colours here. I think it'll look nice on our spread. Um, let's do it. So cute, huh? I don't think we. Yeah, I already read that comment. Okay, <laughs> let's go. I love this. I don't know, cornflower blue colour? I don't have that in my Neo colours, so I need to buy it. I think there is one, isn't there, Melissa? I saw you using it the other day. <clears throat> frame that very well. <clears throat> So cute! What is this bird called? Pastor Rusius? Is that the person's name? I 
to scribbly. The sky blue. Yeah, the sky blue, which should be uh, cornflower blue. <laughs> There's so many names in the neo colors that I think are wrong. I think we talked about this the other day during the art hang party. But like, the purple should be magenta. Yeah, this one should be magenta, not purple. Anyway. I don't make colours. The colour rules. We have 1 minute 18 to go. My computer is... It's like, you know, having a little bit of an earthquake moment whenever I scribble. That's probably You can probably hear it shaking. Okay, that's enough of that blue. I love how the eyes are just circles with little circles inside. Oh, there goes a neo colour snapped in half. Twenty seven seconds. Oh, my hand is a bit sore. Seven seconds. Cute. I like this birdie. Nice looking bird. There we go. Uh, Ginger, loving this, would never have drawn these. I love them. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, um, I think that's a good thing about Scribble Brigade, isn't it? Is getting someone else to choose what you should draw. Um, so you don't have to think about it and just yeah, stretch your artistic muscles in a way. Let's do one more, shall we? I'm going to pick a fairly easy one and we can have a little rest. Maybe this one. That's cute. You're having a lot of fun. Oh, that's nice. Maybe switch to paint for the second half. Oh, that could be fun. I never really do that. Maybe I can get out some. I need to rehydrate them. Hi, Pia. How are you? Quick hello from Pia. Pia, come here. Come say hello, my big little puppy. Can you see this face here? This is Pia. My greyhound puppy. Well, she's not a puppy, she's three. Um, mwah. Okay, you can go to bed. You can stay here if you like. You can do whatever you like. And the house is yours. <laughs> little snoot peek. <laughs> Having to switch between Prismacolors and Neocolor 2, or Miss 2 Creoles has, um, she hands them to me. Oh, your two year old is handing you great. I love that. That's great. <laughs> okay, let's get back. Let's get back. Um, wait, wrong page. That's the page. Okay, last three minutes and we'll have a bit of a break. And um, we can do a bit of a show and tell over on Discord, which I will show you how to do after this. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hello Pia, are you joining us? We love your presence, you don't often join us. It's usually Bibi that comes and says hello. <laughs> Pia's looking at me like, screw you, I come here. I do Pia. <laughs> hello love. Mwah. I love my doggies. They're my favorite people. Doing some color mixing for this branch. We have two minutes and ten seconds. All is good. Well, well, 
in the Scribble Brigade world. There's some like beautiful hints of green coming through in the leaves as well, which is nice, which looks like a faded paint over time. It's really lovely. One minute 43. People are always asking me to draw more cats and I don't know why I don't. I love cats. I think I'm just so in the greyhound dog world that it just feels more natural to draw dogs. This cat, he's not happy. Look at his ears going back like that. Um, one minute and five seconds. He is the cutest. Oh, I need some of this colour. Maybe I'll do some background scribbles. Rest in cat face. <laughs> seconds is Nippon Japan I don't know I'm gonna try and get in these little orangey eyes <laughs> Add a little bit of green in this log too. There we go. Well done. We did our first eight. Woohoo. And I think we'll do another four. How about actually we save show and tell to the end? I think we should sh save show and tell to the end. We should do another four. But let's just have a quick stretch and a quick shake and wiggle. Yes, Japanese is called Nippon. Okay. The cat. Is, is Nippon cat? I like shaking my hands out and <laughs> loosen up my muscles. <laughs> I get repetitive strain injury in my hand. And usually Neo colors are good for it, but I am pressing very hard. <laughs> you need to refill your fountain pen? Okay, your fountain pen, my goodness. Have a water. Have a sip of your tea. Have a crunch on a biscuit. Oh, sorry, Nippon is what Japan calls me. Japan. I didn't know that. I'm very uncultured. I need to go to Japan, actually. I would love it. Everyone's photos and stuff of the countryside and that um, big stationery stall everyone always tells me about that goes for five stories or something like that. Amazing. I'm trying to find a piece of paper that doesn't have much. Oh, there we go. Okay. Last four and then we'll do show and tell. I will actually get up a um, link for you all, which will last for only um, the next... 30 minutes so this link lasts for 30 minutes so if you're watching this on replay um apologies the my discord is usually just for my patrons but i like to i like i'm not that tight with it like i like to let other people have a go um especially when you're here live on the youtube i want to be able to um enjoy the show and tell with everyone so i'm going to Give you a link to the discord if you haven't joined discord it's a really cute place we do we share a lot of artwork we have a lot of resources on there we have a lot of chit chat and um, doodle a day photos of things memes and uh, just like art talking stuff like that so i'm gonna put that there if you want to join and there is a, a section 
on the right with all the categories there's a scribble brigade category category called tsb share place so the scribble brigade share place which is where um, you can upload your photos while we're doing scribble brigade and at the end we have a little show and tell and have a look at everyone's work which is always really nice i love seeing how everyone interprets everything and I mean, you don't have to share if you're not comfortable with it, but it's a nice place to... It's a nice time in the stream. Um, we all cheerlead each other and enjoy each other's work. It's nice, isn't it? I think, I think we should get back into it. How's our, how's our rest going? We're all rested. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, four more. I can do four more with my neo colors, but I would love to try maybe this evening um, for the second Scribble Brigade to do a uh, to use the watercolors use the watercolors okay you forgot to rest Deb <laughs> shake it out grab some water Tyler grabbing another pad of paper great oh no Louise needs to grab go yes go grab another pad of paper <laughs> Oh, Internet pe uh, Intergalactic Peach Patrol, yes. We need to have a couple of sketchbooks on the go. You were scribbling. <laughs> Funny. Lily, I'm so, I'm so late. Glad it's not over. I've that hand, Sophie. Oh, ice that hand. Oh, yeah. I've got a one of those drink bottles where it's like metal. So I often hold on to it. It's nice. Um... But I'll have a good rest of it for the rest of the day. Hola, thank you, Sophie. My cousin is with us. Uh, she doesn't speak English. I'll upload her photos on my part of Discord if that's okay. Of course, Paola. I would love that. That sounds great. Any, anyone's welcome, of course, to share their work. I was going to use watercolor too, but changed my mind. I might also try it tonight. Great. We can do it together, Louise. I don't think I've really done a scribble brigade with watercolor before but yeah let's do it cool cool alrighty let's let's get into it I've got a cute one here ready to say hello to you uh, is it wait what's happening my computer has frozen has my computer just frozen why can't I click anything? <laughs> yeah, my is, my stream is working, right? Ah, oh, I know what it is. Is my mouse? Did my mouse die? No, my mouse isn't dead. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? What the actual heck? I might have to exit a couple of programs. Oh no, it's not letting me do anything. Hang on, I'm gonna just remove this for a sec. Computer does not want to be part of anything. Okay, it wasn't an issue. I think my computer's gone kaputted. Plug the mouse in for a sec. It's already, the mouse is already working. Of course, of course. <laughs> Mercury be retrograding out here. Hi from, uh, hi from Argentina. Hola, how are you? Okay, da da da. Somehow the song is perfect for what's happening right. It's weird because the stream is still working. But I can't click anything. What have I done? Like not even the keyboard is. Maybe I need to put the keyboard in. It's been so long since um, a big issue like this has been. <gasps> we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Yay! Look, I can change it now. Woohoo! We did it. Okay. <laughs> oh dear me. All right. Well, that was a little extended break for us all while I was thrown into chaos. 
<laughs> it was so weird that the stream was still going. I think my computer was just like, I don't know, had a conniption for a sec. <laughs> okay, now we shall move on to our last four drawings. <laughs> Let's go. It's a cute one. There we go. That's all I wanted to show you was this happy tiger. Anyway, let's go. Three minutes embracing the chaos. You just gotta mash the mouse and the keyboard wildly until something works. <laughs> okay, three minutes. Let's do it. Thanks for being there for me. <laughs> you gotta have good humor about that stuff, don't you? Otherwise, it would make you not want to do live streaming ever again. I remember when I used to stream on Twitch regularly, I would have a lot more issues than I do these days. I don't know why. So, it was, it was about time that I had a, a stream issue. <laughs> I'm starting with the background. We have two minutes twenty. Breathe and then start. <sighs> I'm going to make a good old derpy tiger. So cute. children's book um, the tiger skin rug I loved it I don't really remember much about what it was about but I remember loving the illustrations and I really want to find it again um, mum donated it to an op shop years ago and we've been looking for it ever since I've seen it on Amazon and stuff but I want to find it in real life Oh dear. <laughs> um, 43 seconds. <laughs> this, this, this drawing is winning my um, weekly derp award, that's for sure. This is... Uh, <laughs> this is a tiger I would forget. I would like to forget. <laughs> no, he's quite cute. He's fine. It's just different from the reference image. 18 seconds. He does blip. He's like, blip. <laughs> Taking a photo from MySpace. Whiskers. <laughs> He's very cute. You can hear how hard I'm pressing that. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> you can hear the paper, the papers struggling. Oh, we're done. That's the time. <laughs> the cursed tiger. There we go. Next. Moving on instantly. <laughs> that's funny. Um, What's happening in the chat? Tyler, I saw some lions and tigers last week at the zoo. We went for the total solar eclipse. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, three minutes on this crunchy apple. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, look at that drop of water on that top leaf. That's nice. Thank you. 
was a lynx that started pacing and moaning and freaking out and the birds were circling. Wow. They must have been like, what the heck is happening? Not really. It's quite a... Not much colour in the apple here. I'm going to just add some pink and some peach and stuff just to make the make it be a bit more dynamic I suppose. Um, 1 minute 26. So juicy. I like using all the colours to get the colour that I need. Fifty five seconds. Most of the animals took a nap. Good. <laughs> in my leafies I think um, 35 seconds to go that is a juicy apple Three seconds, another little shadow. There we go. Done. <laughs> that was a nice one. I enjoyed that one. It was really cloudy here, but we just got off the path as it it got almost as dark as midnight. Really amazing. My sister said all the birds were chirping really loudly just before, then it went then went silent during it. Wow. Their body clocks must have just been so out of whack. Here we go. Look at this little guy. Little, little what is it? What's that? Chipmunk. Little chipmunk. Let's go. Three minutes. Nice and loose. chipmunk before in real life. seconds they're so cute look how fluffy their tail is I'd like to meet one one day What are the two Disney chipmunks called again? <laughs> My son just called it a tree. <laughs> it's on a tree. There is a bit of tree.
just looks like a massive brown at this point. It's okay, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Getting there. 30 seconds. He's got mushrooms. That's cute. I didn't leave space for those. Seven seconds. There we go. <laughs> Little chipmunk, Elvin, Simon, and Theodore. Cute. Last one. Ooh, what should we do? Like maybe a cute flower. Maybe I've got so many birds. I think this evening is going to be a lot of birds. Ah, how about this one? Little mushroom. Cute. And it's a lot different colored to the last three that we just did. I hate chipmunks one time because a chipmunk ate the cutest squirrel ever. What? Yuck. I don't want to know that. <laughs> That's evil. <laughs> I didn't know chipmunks did that sort of thing. They are now on the fear list. A mouse, not a squirrel. Oh my goodness. Still though. Um, let's draw this mushroom. <laughs> Three minutes. We're going. We're doing. I have the perfect green. Ver Ver Verone Veronese green. Rarely use this color, but it's pretty. Last one for the day. Let's make it extra scribbly. Well, for this morning, not for the day. We're doing this again this evening. Yay! This looks like risograph or something. So cute. <laughs> oh, I forgot this little mushroom here. Almost drew directly over it. To design a line of stamps for the post office one day. Never thought about that, but I think that would be fun. They're not always such cute designs like this. They're just like, I don't know, pictures of trains or tractors or cities. <laughs> Sometimes birds. Be cool to get some artists to do a little collection. Then I can um, post all your Patreon mail with cute as heck art on it as well from the stamps. <laughs> 25 seconds. I think you should design stamps, Sophie. I think they open up submissions. Do they? I have to check if they do that for us too. Surely. Surely. I want some just darker green for fun. Oh, we're, we're, we're done. We are done. Okay. Um, Discord link, I'm just going to chuck it in again. 
sign up if you want to if you want to share your um your your what you've been working on today and we can do a little show and tell together and i love it um i'm just gonna be back in a little sec um i will yeah i'll be back in 30 seconds okay Sorry, the posty came to the door and I had to... I'm just going to turn the music down while I'm in chat mode. Yeah, the posty came to the door. I had to um, grab the package. Anyway, um, yeah, okay, cool. I can see some people sharing their work, which is very exciting. <laughs> I would definitely use some Sophie stamp and washi too. I haven't made washi tape for ages. Thanks for hosting. I've got a run, got a game, but it was fun. It was so much fun. I'll share in the Discord. Thanks, Christine. Um, so yeah, this is what I did today. Nice and scribbly. I love the frog one, and I quite like the strawberry one, even though I didn't finish filling in all the black. The cat. <laughs> and the last four. That tiger is questionable. <laughs> there we go. All right. There's so many coming through. I'm going to jump over and start sharing. And yeah, feel free to keep, keep sending stuff in while I am looking at all of your stuff. Let me just rearrange my desk here. I'm using my iPad <laughs> as my mouse, mouse pad today. Oh dear, that tiger, tiger just woke up from anesthesia. <laughs> oh dear. Um, intergalactic Peace Patrol, I wish I knew where I put my neo colours. You're turned out so juicy, Sophie, delicious. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Let's jump over to the Discord. As you can see, um, we've got a Melissa video. Sorry. Cute. She's having a little drink before we start. I love that. <laughs> so this is yours, Melissa. The first chunk of drawing. So lo I love the, the cat one, actually. So are you doing the paint first and then the pen on top? That's great. I love it. I love how you drew my little logo as well. The fairy ran pretty. And you wrote all the um, towns or the text on it as well. That's satisfying. So this is all one line contour drawing and watercolor. Very exciting. <laughs> you do pen first, single line and then color. Right. And it doesn't bleed. That's great. Nice work. Uh, Maggie. Wow, beautiful. Good scribbly, sketchy, loose. Nice colours as well. Good page. Nice. The bird, uh, the bottom left bird, that's beautiful. Love that one. It's my favourite one, I think. Cute. The tiger. <laughs> uh, Melissa, your last four. Oh, your tiger is great. That is a happy chappy. And um, the chipmunk. His face is perfect. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Parker. Nice. Ooh, the frog one. Good looseness. Beautiful. I like how you did the stamp edges on some of them, but not all of them. It's nice. It's kind of makes it exciting. I like it. The apple's great. That looks crunchy. Sunny, only a few for the, of the last four. Beautiful, and you're working in your uh, iPad digitally. That mushroom one is lovely. 
love the texture of the brushes. Nice. Really nice. <laughs> Seeing all the cheerleading going on in chat, that's nice. I like it. I like when we all cheer each other on. They look great. Thanks, Sunny. BB star. Pretty. Oh, that red bird. What are they called again? Cardinal? So nice. Cute. Good job. Some more here. Oh, the mushroom one. We've all done so well with the mushroom one so far. I love it. Good colours, huh? The water drops on the apple. <laughs> yeah, the Japanese one is good. This one. Cute. The strawberries. Love the strawberries. Great tiger. Lots of expression on that face. Like, mouse just bit me on the bum. <laughs> the bird. I like the bird. That's a nice set. Really nice set. What satisfying pages. Um, oh, look at this. I love seeing people's setups. Lovely. And using uh, crayons and pencils. And I see a Tombow there. Beautiful. So delicate. <laughs> the, tigers, the tigers are very varied. I love that. I love that about Scribble Brigade, seeing how other people interpret everything. It's nice. <laughs> the frog bums. This is a very satisfying um, photo. Thank you. I can't remember. Jax, Jara, Jaxra. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Disco Rabbit on some nice, like, tan paper or brown paper. Pretty. It looks great with the white and the black. Gorgeous. The bird with the yellow. Oh, did you have a stamp? To create the frame yeah that is that's smart that's great and then using the white gel pen highlighter look at the apple um, water drops and the flowers and stuff very cool very cool the stamp idea was masterful <laughs> yes the white just makes it Pop real good. I love that the yellow flowers one that just looks so pretty. Nice one. Love it. <laughs> Peachy. Oh, the watercolors or gouache. Beautiful. I love the looseness. Nice work. Good colors that one. Oh, That's nice. Look at his face. He looks like he looks a bit grumpy, but not as grumpy. <laughs> He's a bit squishy, yeah. Cute. The fairy wren. My fave. Those colours are really soft and beautiful and romantic together. Blue with that purpley pinky and the I don't know, the chocolate colour. Yum. Nice colour palette. The straws. I love your sense of freedom when you paint. It's really loose and fun. Gorgeous. This guy. Cute. And the cats. Oh, it's nice. You gotta wait for a while for those to dry. <laughs> There's a lot of water. Oh, beautiful. Thanks, Peachy. Louise. Ooh, ooh, look at the texture. So much texture, I just want to scoop it. Cute. Oh, I like the butterfly. Nice one. That is so fun to look at. I want to scratch it. <laughs> and then you move to sketchbook. Look at your tiger. Cute. Happy tiger. Nice one. Chipmunk. Very cute. Yeah, it looks very pastel y. Nice one, Louise. <laughs> Christine, beautiful photos, nice, there's your page, cute sketchbook, very nice, love seeing what people are working with, cute, that's nice, the cardinal, 
sitting on his little branch. The fairy wren, cute. <laughs> They're so cheeky. <laughs> A lot of personality. Oh, I love that. Love this frog. Great frog. <laughs> the tiger is the main. I thought the frog would be the main event, but it turns out the tiger is. But love this froggy. Nice one. Good strobes. The flowers. The orange next to the red is like, it's hard. It hurts the brain a bit. Great. Love the leaf, floopy leaves. Yeah, great size book. So small. Lovely. There's the cat. <laughs> How did you get there? And you're, oh, look at that tiger. That is a, that is tiger happiness. That is. I love that. <laughs> Cute. That is such a cute tiger. <laughs> Thanks, Christine. Well, there's some more here. The apple. Lovely. Oh, the little chipmunk. They're so recognizable. The mushroom's fun. Good negative space. <laughs> so photogenic, that tiger. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, that's the talent art creation. 10 by 10. Perfect. Like we speak. Love it. So good. Thank you. Sketchy Reb. Hello. Lovely. Oh, look at that drawing on the left. Beautiful. Love these. So soft and delicate. Oh, great frog. I love how he's reaching beyond the frame that you've given him. That's great really satisfying and the fairy wren <clears throat> cute how they're like put around the page that's really nice this tiger it looks like um like a retro photo booth photo for some reason <laughs> in my head it's like in a photo booth being like where do i look when's it gonna happen and then it takes the photo <laughs> beautiful nice mushroom up there as well Ooh, shiny apple. Crunch. You just want to crunch on them. Lovely. Beautiful. Love it. Claire. Oh, great. Cute tiger. Feed me. <laughs> oh, you'll work on, you've worked on some tan paper as well. So when you use white, it really pops. Look at that apple. Oh, cute. <laughs> you fat little chipmunk. Cute. Oh, that's a good spread. What a great spread. Really nice. Oh, the strawberry one is really striking. Gorgeous. Nice work. Deb. Oh, pretty. Oh, your tiger is so cute. Look at that happy face. <laughs> Oh, these are nice. Using um, some colored pencils. The froggy. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. I, lo I love um, seeing everyone in chat being like, Oh, so cute, so good. <laughs> so I love it. Good community we have here. Huh. This is Sherilyn, Little Miss Joyness. Cute. You're using um, like a fine liner pen and some marker, some pencil. So tiny. Look at the size of your finger next to them. They're minuscule. How cute. Oh, that's lovely. You have a lot of joy in your drawings. They're so fun to look at for me. So tiny. Cute. Good colors. Oh, there's the cat. They're literally stamp sized. <laughs> oh, cute. Yeah, I, I like, um, a couple of people have done this, how they've, how you've placed them, like their little stamps in your little collected book. Lovely. Oh, they're so good. So cute. So, so cute. Ginger. Ooh, this looks fun. Nice work. 
Ooh, I like- I love the tiger. I actually like how it's like... Unfinished, if you know what I mean. It's not every detail was drawn in. I think that looks very cool. Mushrooms are beautiful. What a great spread. And you've added colour in some of them. That's a really nice touch. So good. I love these. So nice, Ginger. Thank you. Ooh, this looks nice. I happen to start with the perfect number of squares on each page. Amazing. We planned it well. <laughs> oh, that is a very satisfying spread. I love the colour palette across all the ones we drew. Definitely has this nice retro feel about it. Look at the tiger. He's like, hi guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, the black cat looks great. The fairy ran. Nice spread. The apples. I love the text around the bottom of the apples here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Lou. Nice. Love seeing your um, workspace as well. That's smart, putting all the greens and oranges and stuff and then all the blues and purples in the other side. Lovely. I like how some of them aren't contained to frames like the chipmunk and the strawberries and stuff up the top there. That's really satisfying. All these renditions. Yeah, I know. They're so good. I love seeing everyone's different interpretations and how they lay it out on the page. So good. Paula. Oh, this is Andrea. Oh, wow. So delicate. Beautiful. Muy bonita. The tiger. Cute. So happy. <laughs> Muy bueno. I love them. Thanks, Andrea. Paula. Gorgeous. Oh, I love the frog. Rana. Right? Sana, sana, butito de rana. <laughs> the strawberries. These are very satisfying. Cute. Little mush oh, your tiger is so happy. <laughs> that apple, though. I love the apple. Really, really fun. Thanks, guys. Um, Andrea's second picture didn't show well, so here's another one. I love it. The apple is beautiful. Mm. Manzana deliciosa. Super excited because I just got new colours. <gasps> Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. My goodness. We're all jealous. 10 out of 10 jealous. <laughs> oh dear. I'm, I'm, I'm not looking at the chat enough. Everyone's been very cute. So good. Um, so Tyler, let's see what you've been drawing. Nice. So you're using a little bit of like grey lead pencil to get your lines and then um, marker for the outline and neo colours. Ooh, cute fairy wren. So lovely. So lovely. Ooh, I love the strawberries. I, you've got such a great sense of looseness um, and scribble. Love it. You know how much I love a scribble. The cute cat. Yay, tiger. He's happy. <laughs> nice. Gorgeous work, Tyler. Yay. Is that everyone done for today? That was so good. We did so much. We did so much. Yay. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> What a fun session. Make sure to have some water to stretch and um, get ready to do it all again this evening. So that's uh, 6 p.m. 
uh, Wednesday the 17th of April here in Melbourne and um, thank you for joining the Scribble Brigade if if you liked doing this I've got tons more on my patreon so I do Scribble Brigade three times a month two of those times is a patreon only one and if you don't want to sign up you know forever you can sign up for one month and you get access to a backlog of all the Scribble Brigades on Patreon including videos that I do because you'll be on the yellow bird tier so there'll be tons and tons of um, exclusive videos there and art prompts and so much stuff I've got a few years worth of um, content there now that I'm really proud of so uh, yeah consider subscribing to patreon it's a great place i love patreon i spend a lot of time making stuff for them over there um yeah okay love you all thanks for being here and thanks for being so lovely in the chat as always um it's nice i really do feel like i'm hanging out with my buddies and doing a bit of parallel play and just being loose and scribbly it's nice you're welcome, everyone. Big juicy hugs to everyone and nose boops to all the pets. <laughs> Cute. Jealous of anyone who gets to watch your content for the first time. Oh, amazing. I love that feeling when you find a creator that you just get and then you get to devour all of their stuff. Mm, best feeling ever. <laughs> Ali, I couldn't participate tonight, but look forward to trying these later. Yes of course enjoy 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 okay i'm going to hop off now and do some other work and chill and yeah great i adore your faces i will see you this evening for patrons if not i will see you on the second wednesday of uh actually maybe not i'm going on an art retreat so i might not be around but um, I'll post about that and we'll figure it out. Um, yeah, next month I'm going away for a week uh, to Tasmania to do a little art retreat with a bunch of artists. So we'll see what happens with Scribble Brigade. But uh, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for a post about that. Alrighty. Love ya. I'll see you. See you next time. Okay. Enjoy your day. Toodaloo.